Your safety at the workplace is very paramount to us here at VTES. By watching this video and paying attention to the safety procedures and instructions, you'll equip yourself with fundamental knowledge to keep yourself safe at the workplace and be more productive throughout your workday. We will be going over three types of lifts today. The first is a squat lift, which is great for regular shaped and sized boxes. The straddle lift is great for irregular or odd shaped objects. And lastly, the golfer's lift is used for lifting very light objects. To do a proper squat lift, there are just four steps to follow. Step one, bend at your knees. Squat to the level of the object by bending your knees. Step two, move the load towards your body. Bring the load between your legs, keeping it as close to your body as possible. Step three, keep your back straight with your head up and maintain a straight or slightly arched back while keeping your head up. And finally, in step four, at a controlled speed, lift the object while using your legs. Step five, as you bring the load to another spot, always keep it close to your body. And not only is proper lifting important in the warehouse, it is also important to safely set down items. Instead of reaching over the pallet, walk around to place the load down. The best time to use the squat lift is when you're handling small to medium sized objects that weigh less than 50 pounds. You should always test the weight of the load that you're trying to move before lifting to prevent unexpected injury. However, there will be times where the squat lift just won't work, like lifting sandbags or other awkward shaped objects. This is when you can use the straddle. As the name suggests, you stand over the object with one leg on each side. You still bend at the knees, Keep a straight or slightly arched back with your head up while bringing in the weight close to your body. Since you are straddling the item, the weight of the load is close to your body, which will reduce the pressure on your back. Like a regular squat lift, you lift with your legs and place the item down slowly and with control. The golfer's lift is great for picking up an extremely light object. To do a golfer's lift, raise one leg back while you bend over. This keeps your back straight and reduces the amount of pressure on your lower back, much more than when you bend at the waist. Keep in mind every lift that you do adds up. Choosing to use the proper lifting techniques like the squat lift, the straddle lift, and the golfer's lift, you are helping to avoid lower back pain and injuries on the job. And that's all there is to it. Simple but effective ways to protect your back while still keeping up with your work. For welder safety, Make sure you have on all the safety materials and equipment required to ensure your best performance and protection on the job. Make sure that you have on your back support, apron, flame resistant apron, welding sleeves, face mask, welding gloves, safety glasses, and finally, your welding helmet. And now, you're ready to get to work. Forklift safety. Remember, you can only use a forklift if you have a forklift license. 
if you do not own a certification, under no circumstances are you allowed to use the forklift. And also, always have on your safety glasses. When using the forklift, always enter on the side with a grip handle. Put on your seatbelt, and now you're ready to go. When approaching an intersection or making a turn, be cautious and always look in all directions for potential pedestrians or objects. And if you're a pedestrian in the warehouse, remember to never turn a corner without looking both ways. Lab safety. There are two quick lab safety reminders. Always have your safety glasses on and your steel-toed shoes. And that's all there is to it. There are many other jobs that have not been covered that do have a unique set of safety regulations. Always remember to wear the proper safety equipment required for that particular job and to follow all safety rules. In the event that you are injured, VTES is there to provide you the medical treatment and support that you need to get back to the workforce. Your VTES on-site supervisor or staff will work with the insurance carrier to provide you care or any injury indemnity as needed. If an injury does occur, you need to notify your direct supervisor and your VTES recruiter immediately. VTES staff will immediately make proper arrangements with a nearby clinic so you can receive proper medical treatment and attention. As part of standard procedure, a drug test will be administered to you and photos of the injured part of your body will be taken before and after to document treatment progress. Lastly, VTES staff will assist you to complete an employee's incident report. Fraudulent workers' compensation claims sometimes occur. But what are they? A fraudulent workers' compensation claim is a claim filed by a worker on an injury that does not occur at work, or does not exist, or is not truthful about the claimed injury. Such a claim will have severely negative consequences for the employee, including but not limited to fines or even jail time. These false claims can make future employment prospects difficult as these charges are on a public record and are accessible to anyone. In summary, be safe in the workplace by using proper lifting and handling techniques. The time and effort you put into handling heavy items safely is invaluable to the pain-free movement you will have for years to come. A fraudulent workers' compensation claim can cause detrimental consequences to your employment opportunities. Depending on the severity of the fraud, fines by the state of California, or jail time from 1 to 30 years are possible. Lastly, VTES is committed to your safety and well-being. If there is an accident on the job, we will ensure that you will receive the utmost proper medical care and attention so that you can get back on the job as soon as possible.